Hello everyone, welcome to GoDev Sprint 8 and 9 summary video. I'd like to show you some of the new things that have gone to the latest version of GoDev. GoDev now supports Mozilla Persona authentication. So if you provide your email address using the remote account parameter here and you launch GoDev, if you go to a web browser, that doesn't have the magic key or the session key. You'll be prompted to log in. From here, I can sign in using my persona account here. Um, it's really easy to set one up if you don't already have one. And here we go. I'm in, uh, and I didn't have to have the magic URL like I used to have. Uh, the magic URL still works. Um, you can still still use it the way you did before, but now you have another option if you go to a different computer. This is done using the remote access capability that I've covered before. Information is available in the readme.markdown on the GitHub page. GoDev now has Go Oracle support, so there are a number of features that come in from the Oracle tool. One of them is the ability to find references. References are scoped by go command, so I specified the go command here. Um, it remembers which go command you used last time to avoid having to pick it every time. You can see here I have two references within the same file to this hello struct. One of them's on line 10 and on line 14 rather, and the other one's further down. The references works across files, of course. It's just a simple example. Another feature that comes in from Go Oracle is the callers. So I can click on this, and it tells me everything that calls the function within this command scope. As you can see here, the AB function is called here. Similarly, there's a peers capability that I'm not going to go over right now, but it's using the peer, the channel peers capability from Go Oracle, the Oracle tool. So you can pick a channel send or receive and it will show you all of the places that also send and receive on the same channel as well as where the channel was originally allocated. One thing that I particularly like in this release is the GoDoc, quick GoDoc view capability. So I can click on a function here and I can hit the GoDoc button and it just outputs the GoDoc for that particular thing. By the way, these dialogues are hotkey accessible. If you hit escape, for instance, it just gets rid of the dialogue. Uh, many of these have hotkeys that are specified here. So GoDoc is Control Shift G. And it brings up the, uh, the information. The other thing I want to go over today is the blame capability that has been added. So blame sh will show you what the last commit or change set that affected each line in your file, provided the file is under a source control system. So to demonstrate using git, if I go to this, uh, this file here that's under git control, I can hit the blame button and it will highlight using different colors uh, based on how, f how recent the change was. Uh, what the change is. You can see here I have the commit message and I have the date. You can see here that this is actually modified on a different date, etc. You can see on the far right hand side that it'll, it will actually highlight the different parts of the file that are related to the same commit in the git case. This blame capability is also hooked into Mercurial for all of the different uh, Mercurial projects that are available under uh, for Go, as well the Jazz SCM uh, system is hooked in. That about covers what I wanted to show you today. Thank you very much for listening.